times a year. I don't blame luck. I think we, you make your own luck. But I think today we, I thought we were in the game. Uh, the first goal, um, they were on top of the game, don't get me wrong, but the top of the league, they're going to be on top of the game for, for long periods of it. Um, I, I think uh, defence, in terms of where we were today, the work rate was good. We took on a lot of the things that we talked about from uh, Tuesday night. I think it's a combination of things. Like there's been a lot, we've had a lot of games with a very small squad, and if you look at Merson, Marshy, both struggling with injury, front three having to keep going through what they get, you know, in terms of work rate. Dan Dougal comes in for his first game after doing nothing for two weeks. We looked at, we looked, we looked tired. I think at times and at half time, um, the sending off and the penalty just for half time. <clears throat> as much as you can say we're unlucky, it's a red card. It's a silly tackle, and he deserves his red cards. And then the penalty, that's second in two games where Pierce has made a decision, hasn't quite got there. Um, so two key elements of the first half, uh, we, we've not made good enough decisions. If you go in at 1-0 with 11 men and, and then maybe the second half slightly different, at half time we just said you're going to have to work hard and put a shift in and they really did put a shift in. Uh, at this point, at the end, because I think if we'd have come off 2-0 and, and, and held out second half, that would have probably been, been out, something to take away from it. But it's just been... It was the last of a long game, they're top of the league. We could take away that we were competitive whilst at 11 men, and we could take away that once we did go down to 10, we were actually able to hold them at bay for most of the, you know, for, for the best part of an, you know, an hour, 50 minutes. Um, but we need this break, this two week break is going to do us the world of good because, you know, again, you signed Dan Dougal, he has to have two weeks before he can come and play because of COVID. You signed Kyle, he's now having to isolate and can't play. So when the reinforcements are finally coming in and we get them in, they can't actually play and that's, that's tough for us. And so I can't question the work rate and effort. I think anybody that came would say, we worked hard, we, we competed whilst, whilst, it was, whilst it was 11 v 11, but when you're at the bottom end and you're coming away top of the league, you can't go down to 10 men, you can't give them a penalty um, and expect to get something out of the game. Well, I think the thing is now, it's, it's two weeks where players that are carrying injuries, and there are a lot, are going to have the opportunity to rest them. Hopefully some of those coming back from injuries will make some progress. Uh, Kyle coming in and Dan Dougal being able to settle in will be important over the next couple of weeks. And we've got a couple of approaches out that we would hope by the time we're playing again, we'll be able to get another couple of bodies in. Um, I don't want to make wholesale changes, but I thought Dan's debut was good today, uh, but obviously ran out of legs because it's it's a step up and it's, you know, he hasn't been out doing anything for two weeks. Um, Kyle will be able to get settled in. And so it's a, a big two weeks for us. Um, and we have to make sure that when we come back by the next time, we've just looked, we've, we've played four out of the top five. So fix has been really tough. Um, and we need to say, okay, that they're, they're done now. The next three games, we get sides at the bottom half of the league and we've got to focus on being ready for them and take the confidence from Tuesday into those games.